Yeah. There we go. Love right. You. So ATC, if you look, it's 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 like like a trailer control system. Yeah. So it detects movement, obviously side to side. Yeah. And what it do, it will apply the brakes. Obviously, it detects that movement, plays okay. the brakes. So it slows it down, and if you imagine the car and the caravan are roughly that, that yeah. angle, it'll just slow the caravan down and the car pulls it straight. Yeah. So that, that's all it does. Yeah. It's got indicator light on it. When you when you plug it into your car, yeah. turn off your car electrics, yeah. you will hear it self-test. So you'll hear yeah. it mechanically self-test, and you should see a green light come up in the, in the yeah. indicator light there. Yeah, okay, so if it's solid, trailer. yeah, it's not ABS, but it's, no. yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's just Same supplies brakes, yeah. yeah. So green light, obviously okay, it's done yeah. its full test. It's flashing green. I mean, it hasn't quite completed its test. Normally, from driving, say, from here to the gate, it will complete its test and go yeah. solid. Red light, obviously, problem. Yeah. You can disconnect your electrics from your car and re plug them in, and it may reset. Cool. If not, it, it may be the system, obviously, there's still a problem in the system. You obviously yes. need to get it checked out, but you should be able to still move it. Yeah. Just check before you go, just to make sure the caravan does move. It has applied yes. the brakes. Yeah. If it's flashing red light, then the likelihood it has applied the brakes, okay? You can, again, you can just. Pull the electrics out, see if it will uh, reset. If it's still flashing, you obviously try and move it. If it's obviously not going to move, obviously the right yes. brakes have been Rolling. applied. Oops, excuse me. There is a, a threaded rod that you can disconnect from the actuator box box um, to, yeah. to your yeah. uh, to your brakes if you want to, yeah. or you're going to have to rely on somebody to come out and uh, sort it for you. Yeah. Okay. That's a, a thing just to get you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it, you're doing. I say if, if it's red light and it obviously yes. will move, you can still drive with it. Yeah, but obviously, the system, will, system won't be working. Yeah, okay. Yes, yeah. obviously, a gas locker, probably something yeah. similar to what you had previously. Yeah, onboard regulator. Yeah. yeah, like that. What you'll need is you need a uh, gas pigtail. Obviously, this one's mine, so obviously, yes. we're not sure what if you've got yeah. one on your old one. There is one on, yeah, this. it depends yeah. on, on the age of it. If it's if it's a rub one like that, obviously, it may be past its date, it depends on how, how yeah. old it is. Okay, so we obviously need to check that first. Obviously, you've got a. Uh, I can pick one that will fit. Yeah, that's right. So you've got one yeah. handle. Yeah. Obviously, you've got your yeah. jack, which is obviously very useful. And then obviously, this, this one's actually got a, a waste yeah. tank, a yeah. portable waste tank as well. Yeah. That's what they used to come with. Or used to come with. Right, that is size. Obviously, you've got. Did you have an onboard tank, I would assume, on the, on the last one? Um, the red <laughs> one, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what we've got there is the vent for your heating hot water. Yes. Did, did you have yeah. an Aldi system on your last one or was it a boiler? Uh, boiler, boiler fire. Boiler fire. Yeah. So this one is a combined heating system. Yeah, you just have to yeah. take your, what's the take, Yeah, take the cap off. Well, yeah. this you don't. No. So that's, uh, that's, that's as it that's is. There. So as it obviously lights up, obviously you don't need to take yeah. this, this here is actually for a shower. Yeah. So we're extra to the shower. The shower, shower. shower hose is actually inside there. Yeah. So all you need to do before you plug it in, make sure you switch the water pump off first. Yes. Obviously there's still pressure in there. Yeah. Okay, so what you're best to do is operate the end of the shower away from yourself. Lift away. Plug it in and it'll just release the pressure off. If you yeah. don't, the likelihood when you push that it'll just spray in your face. Yeah. And then it just runs off cold water obviously. This here is your water inlet. Okay, you've got your pump, obviously which is in the at the moment. Got two inlets, one yeah. is direct to tap, so if you want to use the Acrol on its own, obviously that, oh, that's see, what that yeah. does. If you want to fill your onboard tank, it says direct to tank look. Yeah. You just obviously plug it into there and that will just fill your tank. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you how, how the operation is, yeah. how it works inside. Okay. Okay, I've got my battery connected obviously yeah. to show you everything up and running. I've Again, the same same with the cable. Yeah. Okay, you have apart, apart from the compressor <laughs> at the back of it, yeah. Obviously not 